airbrush in 3D Coat is very, very similar to the paintbrush, except for one or two major noticeable differences. In order to demonstrate that difference, let me first start off with the paintbrush. And I'm going to start off with a high value, around 100%. And I'll just make a simple stroke. Then I'll reduce the value down to around 20 or so. And so I'll make another simple stroke. And you'll notice if I click, hold, and drag, as we often do when we're trying to paint in a large area, we tend to just click, hold, and continue pressing down while we're brushing. Uh, so that's just kind of a natural reaction. And the problem with that, with the paintbrush, is you're never going to get above 21%. You're basically painting a static value across uh, you know, the entire section that you're painting. So the only way to get around that if you want to build it up gradually is start off with a low value like this and let up. You have to come back and make another pass, let up, make another pass, let up, and so on. And you just continue to build that way. So, let me undo a few times here. And as you can see, when I start off with a value of 100, it was completely filled in for the moment I started. Whereas if I switch to the airbrush, you'll notice uh, even at above 100%, when I press and paint, okay, it builds up gradually and it's much softer. You'll also notice that you don't have to let up in order to build. So let me go ahead and start at a lower value, about 20 or so. And I'm going to click hold and just continue brushing while I'm holding down the stylus. And you can see it's softly building up as I'm brushing. So this is the ideal way to work if you are trying to paint you know, a large area with nice soft gradients in between. You're trying to blend different textures together. Okay. And that really is all there is to it with the airbrush. Just know that it's much more painterly and much softer. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video.